Hello, friends. Hello, hello. How are you all doing? Right now. Hello. Um, caffeinated Rick. Thank you so much for the tier one sub for the four months. Rated G for gamer says one drug man. Yelsu Obsidian Taco. Chill Gam, Potato Salad, 10 Peaches, Zippy Zilts, Nuclear Nachos, Karma already redeeming the Hug JD reward. That was fast. That's one cool cat. Too cool for school. Taco game, hello. Nuclear nachos. Let's see. Looking at Zerka makes me sad for not copying. Mm. No gimmicks build. Hey, Space Cable, hello. We getting swole tonight, are we? Are we redeeming a lot of push-ups today? Again? I mean. Where's Dale? I don't know. Where's Dale? Where's Dale? Oh, push-ups. Meridian's price is up. Very enticing. Swall squad, let's go. All right. Yeah, only only swall gamers are um real professionals. <clears throat> okay. All right. Cool. His batter sense tingling. <laughs> Make it twenty. Sounds good. What's the Meridian price? Let's see. Decat Meridian. Uh, was that announced there? No, oh, wait. Meridian. Three sixty. Ooh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Hmm. So for those who don't know what the Meridian looks like, um, I'll show it on screen if you want. Saw it on Discord? Oh, I, I see. So it was announced on Discord instead, huh? Clack it for me. Clack, clack, clack. JD at? Have you guys seen JD? He's too cool. I'm not sure if he wants to be hugged right now. I'm not sure if JD needs a hug. He's focused in his gaming right now. Don't you see? His left paw on the WASD right there. I finally figured out how to use my solder sucker and have elevated to a new level. Oh, very nice. He's cooler than all keyboard streamers combined. Did JD play Genshin Impact? Yeah. Whoa, I can't see anything because it's polarized. <laughs> <laughs> Lightning ga favorite Genshin character go? I'm not sure yet. I haven't gotten that many. Cute cringe smile. <laughs> I look so bad in these glasses though. I actually don't like them too much.
Alright, he's back to gaming. <laughs> Mona waifu? I haven't gotten Mona though, so... Uh, I just started, actually. I just started playing Genjin, so there's that. Oh, I guess we can start with uh, more push-ups now. Let's do the push-ups. Push up time. shoulders in oh whoopsie sorry no I think Dodo I think Dodo is probably right I, I should have put my shoulders a little bit in same with the elbows but yeah check general in the server we got someone fun Oh no. <laughs> you can put that in um and in stream highlights too. But more chest activation when it's flared. Elbows closer to the chest. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I need to I need to put pull my elbows in. But yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. I agree with Dodo. All right, so today, gamers, we're gonna build the best gamer keyboard in the world. Pog Champ, gamers. Yo, Mr. Gamer of City and Raid. Thank you so much, gamer, for the gaming subs. Five tier one subs to the gaming community of Lightning Keyboards. Thank you so much, gamer. <laughs> One drunk man was a little Z client. Hola Diego, ¿qué mount prefieres en tu opinión? Gasket o el normal que no sé cómo se llama? Top mount? Uh, I like top mount. I like top mount. Gasket, top mount, both are good. Los dos son buenos. Es top mount, prefiero top mount porque es más como... ¿Qué será? ¿Más seguro? Majestuch gets Obi to donate. Little Bonaparte, thank you so much for your tier one. How are you doing, buddy? How are you doing, gamer? All right, let's, we, we showed this last time. This is our Philco Majestuch 2 Camouflage R. Non-backlit, non-speed gimmick, non-programmable keys. This is a real gaming keyboard for professional. Multicam with Cherry MX mechanical switches. And it's desoldered as I've shown previously. But um, I've, I think I've, I've told you I've desoldered these. I lube these switches, I filmed them. We're not using PS2, so we don't need them. Some extra screws. We can undo the, we can get the cable out here. Mm. Some 
heat puller and stuff, accessories. I think the rest is like the receipt. And I found the gaming keycaps too. I put the keycaps aside if we want to use these original caps, but I personally don't want to. But we can. We can. We have the option to. So I'll just put them aside for now. Ah, real gamer. Would have donated to you earlier, Rick, if you were affiliate? Was Rick streaming? Not guys with untethered IP cams for face cams. <laughs> I have to go when I finally get to see Gamer Board for the 21st time. <laughs> 21st time. What about NQ rollover? I actually don't know. Does it have NQ rollover? Sometimes it says in the box. Um, I think it's six key rollover by default, though. It doesn't say. Not in the box, anyway. Is that a think above you? What? Above where? Rick did a three build stream? Built three boards today? Dude, that's crazy. That's a lot of boards. All right, so here we have our uh, Philco. Um, I'm just gonna make sure to test it, first of all. Um, and then we're going to, actually, can I remove these clips? Of oh, Sam, thank you so much for gifting a tier one sub to Karma. Thank you so much. All right, and then these co-star stabs are gonna get lubed at some point. Um, just just the wires is fine. I'll unclip these and lube them later. Um, I think I uh, screwed these down just in case I would lose anything. So let's uh, undo these. So those two screws, as you can see, they screw to the case, right? And that's the PCB and the plate assembly. Uh, you don't need to separate the, pl uh, the plate and the PCB because uh, basically these two are, um, I mean, they're already like separated by the right amount of distance. Uh, they're held by, there's these little spacers here already. Uh, the LEDs are already installed too. Um, so all I had to do was desolder the switches. Uh, which was actually not that bad uh, for a uh, pre-built. Hey, Raditz, how's it going? Chill game, have a good evening. Thank you so much for joining. Is this gasket mount? This is a gasket, not gasket mount. This is good old steel plate. Uh, I guess kind of tray mount, yeah. Um. So yeah, um, so that's what it is. Pretty standard. And this is the controller here. All right, so let's first uh, test the PCB really quick, just just in case, because I actually don't remember. I mean, I, I do remember testing it, but uh, I do want to make sure. So let's, you just plug in the daughter board here. I mean, not daughter board, the cable, my bad. And you just connect the cable here. If I can get in. Okay, so you just plug in the cable. And we connect the integrated cable. I wish I had a, a, a like a detachable, but I don't. At least not, not right now. So as you can see, the light come up. That's a good sign already. Um, I'm gonna pop up some switch hitter. Good old switch hitter from Elite Keyboards. Hope and dreams mount. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, I'm just gonna test a few keys like randomly here, you know? Um, but it should work. Like I already tested this before. Um, so it should work. Cool. Like everything should work as intended. Okay, so it's good. It's, it's working. Um, I don't need to really test too much here. So I can just undo that for now. I know it works, so it's fine. 
Alright, so we unplug this cable for now. Keep the cable in the case. Alright, that's how it's gonna go later on. And if you haven't seen this case, right? Um, so This is what it looks like from the underside. JST it really was ahead of its time. <laughs> a lot of a lot of uh, peripherals have it, right? So there's a top, right? So pretty cool. Um, for those who don't know how this is done, um, the um, this case is hydro dipped basically. Uh, but the hydro dipping on the on these camo filco cases is actually really well done. Um, it's like it has this really nice matte finish to it. So, let me see if I can like share, but um, but it, it has this really nice matted finish to it. Like nice and textured finish. Um, truly like camo. The camo one. I don't know if I have any specific camo artisans, but I'll try to get something that's Similarly toned, but yeah, it has a really nice finish to it, and as you can see, it spares the inside, but it does the outside pretty well, and it even has some branding on it too, multicam branding. GMK Olive would be a good option. Some people have suggested GMK Handarbite, and I've seen pictures with it. It looks pretty good. Also, I believe uh, Nick Heller was the person who posted a. Um, with Handerbite. Uh, let me actually, I think I, I should have a picture of it. So, look at what, this is what Nick Hiller did. This photo with Camo, camo Filco with uh, Handerbite on it. Looks really good, right? Pretty good with that OG try. Very nice. Hander is cheating. <laughs> is it? We'll see. We'll see what we end up using later on. But yeah, we can use GMK Olive as well. Alright. So there's that. So this build is actually going to be super easy. It's going to be very fast build too. Um, why? Because first of all, um, these switches are plate mount. I don't even need to do anything to them. I All I have to do is put the switches in, solder them in, uh, uh, lube these stabs, and we're done. Going to be fast. Going to be fast. We could try one of those CRP sets too. The new ones. I have a... Uh, Desco Black, I have the 2551, and um, uh, I have a, what else did I get? What's the other one? Tulip? Yeah. But I have those two, if you, if you guys wanted that instead. JP Pink? I did not get the JP Pink. I actually did not like that it was on a white base. If it were on a beige base, I would have used that, but not, I don't like the white base one. The new one, anyway. I have the other one, though, but it's on a different board. But yeah, I could take that out, too. I could use JP Pink, too. Alright, so yeah, this is going to be a very simple build. All I have to do is put the switches back in. Really? Honestly, this, this build is probably going to take like an hour, maybe. Actually, I guess it's 25 minutes now, so maybe like... Uh, Maybe like an hour and a half total by the end of this, by the end of this. It's gonna be very fast. And these just snap right into place because it's a nice uh, steel plate with the spacers already there. So this is gonna be an extremely fast build. Um, so, will a shelf liner, will a shelf liner like the one you're using fit the Lin Whale? Uh, yeah, I think you could probably use like one layer. I mean, plus a uh, shelf liner compresses, so. Double build stream. Um, do I have enough switches for a second build though? Oh, we could try a double build. We could try, actually. We could try a double build. Although I kind of feel bad for not hyping up the 
for not hyping it up, but because a second build would be pretty pretty interesting too. But that's the only thing I have to build right now that I can remember. Other stuff I need to loop switches, so I haven't finished. You have Jade Key Pink on white? Pink on white? No, I don't. I do not have Jade to Key Pink on white. Is this like a limited edition OEM board? I just saw it. Uh, um, 10 peaches. Uh, no, it's actually in stock. You can buy it in stock from like mechanicalkeyboards.com, uh, which is a US vendor, which is unfortunate, but uh, it's an in stock board though. Like it's, it's still produced. It came out quite a long time ago, uh, but uh, it was definitely promoted as something kind of special at the time, but it's a, it's something that's in production. Do you want it? I got it on my OG number one, never used it. Um, I don't think I need it, so I, I think I'm, it's all good. Do you film hyperglides? I would film them, yeah. I would film any Cherry MX switches, to be honest with you. I would not, I would not spare any MX switches uh, from films, from Switch films. I would just use the regular Switch films, the 0.15 or whatever that is, measurement wise. I feel it's not, it's not my cup of tea. I see. What color is your, um, what color is your number one? Anyway, I think a full rebuild of this would have included all the desoldering and stuff, but that's actually very tedious and very loud and annoying. So I didn't, I decided not to do that. I decided just to desolder this earlier on back when I first got this. I was like, oh, I'm just going to desolder right away. It was mad black. Had it terracoded because it was a type Machina OG number one and Anna was poop. Yeah, the the original Anna on the number the number ones from Type Machina was not great for several of them. Some 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 of them were like somehow managed to be okay, but there are quite a few that were not. So I, I have heard a lot of people re-anodizing or terracoding um, because of that. Uh, so from what I can see here though, these all have, the, the Philco PCB does have diodes, so so yeah, end key rollover should be a thing actually. Should I have Dremel the PCB, the plate into half? I actually don't have a Dremel tool, <laughs> so... It would have taken me time just to get it too. I mean, I would have had to get the Dremel tool and then figure out how to use it and then and then Dremel it. But I mean, I could have done that, yeah. But I don't know. It would have been too lazy to, to be honest. Is this what Endgame looks like? Endgame is a pre-build. You didn't know that? Imagine, imagine spending all this time and money into custom keyboards and then realizing that Endgame is just a pre-build. You didn't know. They all did the research for you. Companies already did the R and D. It's 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 confirmed. They know it's the best keyboard for gaming, and for any kind of professional use. I want to like that board, but thirty-five gram NIS dome is too gummy. Mm, for the NIS plum, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thirty-five gram is also super light. It's too light. Desky's domes though, that sounds exciting. I heard GMK Tifu is endgame. GMK Tifu coming in soon in March, right? Uh, I mean, not coming in, but like uh, coming to group by in March for the uh, for GMK Striker. Coaster stats for the win. Those are stabs are actually very um, are actually quite pretty good. Um, the reason w the the problem with coaster stabs is keycaps. Uh, changing keycaps is a pain in the ass in coaster stabs because each time you remove the keycap, you need to readjust the stab. Like like see like these inserts are like flying off. But yeah, like that's the only thing about coaster stabs is just the inserts and stuff. This is the whole situation with the inserts. But other than that, it's okay. 
And they're like plate man, so you don't have to. Wob is the only end game. Wob would look good on this, yeah. For the win is FTW is for the win? Yeah. What what else do you think it was? I actually am wondering what it would be otherwise. I mean, I'm sure it could represent anything else, but I'm not sure what what else in in, in the specific context. <laughs> you you should do a YouTube video for the fave tool. Another one? Okay, I could do that. Maybe I could do that today while I'm at it. I could show you. Yeah, I could I could I could just I could just do a short segment on the fave tool after we're done with this, shall we? It's it's really not hard. Fuck the world. Oh, okay, I guess that works too, but. That's a very 2020 thing to say, my friend. We're in 2021, okay? Get on with the times. Man, look at that. My viewership has tanked thanks to the camo filter. It's maybe because my stream just camouflaged, that's why. No one can see the stream, eh? I know it's invisible. Oh, that's interesting. There's these two switches that are upside down because I imagine there's something in the way. Maybe there's diodes or something. I don't know what it is. But it doesn't matter. These bottom row caps are fine. All right. So, um, let's see. Look, almost done. Like the step to step for us low IQ people. Yeah, yeah, I can do the step to step thing. Rename it to J Made in JP Supreme Keyboard Modding. <laughs> we could. All right, cool. So this is gonna be simple because the switches are already in. There's no reason for them to come off. All I gotta do is just solder these in, which is great. Very easy. Maybe uh oh maybe oh actually never mind. I'm currently streaming on 1080p, which I don't think I can do. I'm not sure I could game in 1080p, but... Or like game and stream, rather. Also, I don't think I have it set up with 60 frames. Actually, I think that's the main issue. Let's get that 15 FPS gaming. Oh god. I got this. I actually, you know, if I game or anything, I'll go on Discord. You guys can join in Discord if you guys want. How about that? We can do a Discord thing and I can just stream Genshin. I got this gross. Anyway, I got this gross uh, Cooler Master Storm Quick Fire Rabbit for like $3. Or, hey, Quick Fire Rabbits are actually not bad though. And they, the PCB looked exactly like this. Huh, I'm wondering if they outsource, um, Philco, maybe Philco outsources PCB stuff. Had these same two switches flipped upside down though. That's interesting. I mean, I'm glad it's south facing for the most part still. That way keycaps won't rub. No sponsor segment because <laughs> this is <laughs> this is too fast. We're already done. We're almost done basically. Lightning for real, do you want my epic AR50 Genshin account? I'm not playing it. Um, I mean, you can't give people things, right, on Genshin, which is a shame. I mean, I kind of want to play it myself, though. You know what I mean? I kind of want to go through the woes of grinding. But, I mean, 
I kind of feel like I, I would check it out though. I, I could I could check it out. I could check out the account, but I'm not sure if I would play it a lot. Cause I like I do like doing things by myself, or like you know at least trying it myself. But yeah, I currently reach AR twenty. Do you like the Wob Katakana? No, not really. I'm not huge on it. All right, I'm gonna solder this really fast. Okay. Yeah, Rick. I appreciate the offer. I mean, I I think I would try it, but yeah, not sure. Not sure how. Not sure if I would actually play it as much, just because I've been enjoying playing it by myself too. And also, I, I kind of want to go through the story and stuff too, right? Because it's very story driven. Is what I found out, which is pretty cool. It, it, it's a little different from Breath of the Wild in that sense. A bit. I mean, Breath of the Wild also has a lot of story and also a lot of uh, um, outside content, like uh, uh, like great greater world content. But yeah. Pero si tienes promedio de 60 viewers, ya tienes para pedir patrocinadores. Sí, o sea, sí tengo patrocinadores también, pero igual. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to do these switches one by one and then push them in and then. And then, uh. Because I, I need these to actually be aligned and all the way in. I'm just gonna do this first. Do one leg first because these are plate mount switches so these switches are not sitting in i mean they sit like they sit on the plate and they, they get they're they're like being clipped onto the plate but uh because of gravity sometimes they can pull pull themselves out slightly so i'm just gonna i, I soldered one leg in and all i'm doing is heating that same leg up and pushing the switch in at the same time so it uh so i can push the switch all the way in fully and then making sure that uh, they're flush to the pcb right Breath of the Wild has a, has a lot of story, ignoring the main storyline for like 80 hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It has. It definitely has a lot of stuff going on. I actually didn't even finish Breath of the Wild because back when I was playing it, like I got busy at the same time, so I didn't manage to finish it. But I basically spent, I spent like hours just doing Korok leaves and shit, you know, like collecting shit and doing like random side stuff, like the shrines and whatnot. So like I pretty much. I pretty much like spent all that time doing side quests and stuff. So yeah, I mean even just now on Genshin, I just collected all the uh, all the uh, Animoculus already. Cause I, I I've been wanting that stamina boost. <laughs> Not to mention it gives you AR. So. I wish they sold the mod separately. Need a WAP mod kit for Jim Kizuyan. Uh, definitely the problem with uh, with alpha kits is the fact that you could might you might actually run out of modifiers to use. So yeah, I see the I I can definitely see the inconvenience of that of that overall.
I'm starting with the top and bottom rows because that way the play can be actually all the way in on those two rows and just basically hold everything else together. So if you're wondering what I'm doing, uh, that's what I'm doing. I'm first soldering the top and bottom rows so that those can be all the way flush. Just doing one leg at a time first. So if you do one leg at a time, you can ensure that you can heat up that leg and then make sure the switch is all the way in. And then and then you can do the second leg afterwards. Maybe you can build a pink board sometime soon. Yeah, I need to loop switches for that one. Garlic. That's why I haven't gotten to it. I just haven't loop switches for a lot of like personal stuff. That's the main issue right now with personal boards. Is I, I just haven't had the time to loop switches for my own boards. I pretty much spend all the time doing stuff for client builds that I just don't have time for my own. Ooh, hot. Yeah, but I I'll get to that soon. Sooner than later. Do you route all your audio through your sheet stack? No, I don't. So my 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 speakers and like basically like if I if I'm using like regular headphones, like the ones that I do want amplified like with through the amp, I use those I, I put those through the sheet stack. So like my computer audio stuff. And then I have my mic like monitor stuff through the DAC, through the, the like the focus right DAC. So I'm like the the ear the ear the earphones I'm using right now, like the IEMs I'm using right now, they're through the they're through the focus right DAC. So basically they're separate. So that way I can have I can I can have stuff playing separately if I want it. Um, should I sell a kidney for a key cult? No. Well I mean up to you, but no. I would say no. What kind of speakers do you use with your stack? I use uh, JBL, uh, like the 305s. Like the big ones. Giga, would you mind to watch this? Uh, what is this? Did he diss me or something? <laughs> Good tin. I'll check it out in just a second. Very dank clip. Okay. Thank you. 
Alright. What what is this clip again? Uh okay, let me see. Um I need to copy that link over. Uh, do I have my, hold on, let me see if I have my browser audio on for a sec. Alright, let's see. Skin, right? Oh! What the? Why? Oh my god, that's nasty, man. Damn. Ouch. Oof. Oh. Oh gosh. Coffee spill on Vega. Oh yeah, that one's that one's good too. We can we can see if uh it's there. Is it there? Oh yeah, it's there. <gasps> oh crap. <gasps> <sighs> so oh sad. my god. No. Oh, Tim. Oh, Tim. No fucking way. Oh gosh. And then what? What is? What is this on the side here, guys? Does anyone know what the hell is on the on the left here? Noodles, worms. Is he drinking these? What is that on the side? Nathan mentioned it too, I think. Filter. Hmm. Very strange looking. I see. All right. Well. Ouch. I would not do that. I would ne. I would never take a tape to my armpit. Why? Why? Why not just wax it or something? <laughs> I mean, it probably wax or probably hurts too. But still, better than tape. More effective too. That spill was pain. Yeah. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna click at that sus link, Sam. That link looks sus. Bro Bro Bro, why are you not clicking the link? Bro. Not sus? I, I bet... It's Paul's edit? Pogging out of control? What? Sad. I well, my hands are busy right now. I can't watch this thing right now. One more while you're at it, though. I mean, what is it? Let me see. Preview is not loading. This is sus. This is very sus. So sus. But okay, I'll fine, I'll watch it. I'll watch it. Let's see. Where is it? Uh let me post the link. Okay. Um wait, alright. I did not hit her. It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not hit her. It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. <laughs> Dude, that slap is so bad.
That slap, oh my god. <laughs> it slaps so hard. It's like whack. Oh my god. So sad. Rip keyboard indeed. Oof. Oh, yo, Mr. Jack Static. Holy crap. Welcome. It sounded like pain and sorrow to me. <laughs> Jack Static, thank you so much for the five tier one subs. Thank you so much. If you don't know who Jack Static is, Jack Static is the owner of mintautumn.com, Mint Autumn LLC. Uh, they produce the Rukia keyboard and they're currently working on uh, injection molding equipment as well uh, for, for, for polyethylene and other different kinds of plastics. <clears throat> you can feel that slap. Oof, yeah. That's, that slap hurt. I'm not falling. What did Simon throw? Oh, you don't know this? Wait, wait, wait. Ten Peaches, Ten Peaches does not know about this. I can't believe it. Uh, I, I can't I can't believe ten peaches does not follow this we, we must we must we must watch the clip we must watch the clip let me go let me go fetch it right now where's the clip uh, Simon's videos the most expensive throw in keyboard history yeah what I can't I can't believe it all right let's uh what was it? Alright, it's like loading up. Uh, popular clips. Oh, uh, yeah, here, here it is. Let me that that autoplay, but that's not it. There's a longer one that's better. It's a slightly longer one that's better. Uh, oh, I guess I guess people didn't clip too well. Okay, well, whatever. I'll, I'll use this one instead. Yeah, that one's okay. I thought I thought there was a better one than this. All right. All right. So look at look at this. This is the clip in question. Uh, Ten peaches. Check it out. So Simon was streaming. Okay. So Simon was streaming. Black Simon was streaming, and he was building a. He was talking about a K, the 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 sixty percent keyboard by Bisaromi and Monoke. Anyway, so he was talking. About, he's saying how like. It rattled or something. If he shook the, the 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 keyboard, the plate rattled inside or something like that, and that he paid four hundred and forty dollars and it's shit. And then he proceeded to discard it. So, yeah, yeah, we can watch that again and again. And again. Full. Oh, full version. Thank you. This is this is better because it gives you the context a little bit better. What if he just built it wrongly? Our, well, that's what I thought, our I thought it was. Lovely $440 keyboard that makes this sound. Great keyboard. Jesus so, Christ. yeah. <laughs> that awkward <Our> silence. <laughs> oh my God. Stop. I'm in pain. And then, and then, no, no, no. This is the best part. This is the best part. Um, 
This is the best part. Half PayPal want red HHKBK. I have found a seller, but will leave this post open so you can laugh at my stupidity. Budget $800. Requirements new unit inbox silver top red bottom plate on PCB doesn't matter the person who can ship it out as soon as will have priority extras are a bonus Reasons and then the clip is and then the clip is uh linked Located in Dubai, but I have receiving addresses blah blah blah, blah. Pepe hands Pepe point PM'd uh, Nice nice happy cake day. Do you learn your lesson? Yes, penny hands Penny hands that's a Chad move to do didn't realize it was a client's board not to Chad move Sag that keep defy the laws of physics just to spite you. <laughs> if you keep acting like this, Gatoron will leave you. He has already packed his tiny little suitcase. Please send help. <laughs> I have a stainless steel K USD 6.5K. Let me know if you're interested. Oh, that's o Okonomiyaki. She's, she's just shit posting, but she's also half serious. Congrats, you play yourself like a fiddle. <laughs> yeah, it was a customer bill too, apparently. And then he made an FAQ, a Google Doc. Context, I spent the past month hating on the K after the bill was finally completed. And and I threw it on the bed and I flipped back in revenge and smacked my Alice. This was a viewer build, not my own. I have secured an NIB replacement for him and I'm now down $800. Good times. Questions, is Alice okay? Mostly got a small bump and a keycap scuffed. Small bump and a keycap scuffed. Is K okay? It looked okay when I checked on stream, but apparently got chipped. I'll share pics when I have the replacement. Once I have the replacement unit next week, why do you throw the keyboard? I throw keyboards all the time. I was angry because I hate K. You throw keyboards for stream shock value. You also I also throw keyboards off stream. <laughs> Will you stop throwing keyboards? Probably not. Will you stop throwing other people's keyboards? Yes, I'm angry. Yes, that's fine. But that's also considered uh, also considered the karmic justice. Okay, buddy. Uh, it should make you laugh, not angry. Anyway, you're an idiot. Yes. Lesson learned. SG have. <laughs> Lolstax tried to shake his red K has the same sound. So you guys want me shaking my K? Because my K doesn't do any of that sound. Um, I can guarantee you that much. All right, I can actually show you. Okay, so here's my K. Here's my K, right? You can see my K, all right? I'm gonna shake it in front of the camera, right? Don't 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 hear anything like that. Not not any clanking like that. So that's blue hiss was red though. Yeah, but what I'm saying is try it long ways. Like 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 this, right? Nothing. Nothing. <sighs> What's up, Sean? How you doing? How you doing tonight? All right, let's continue this soldering. Soldering's taken uh, like a like an extra thirty minutes because of this. Uh, let's see, where were we? There's some sound probably different from the clip. Yeah, but the sound is actually just the keycaps. It's just the keycaps. It's the, the Shoko keycaps that's are currently on it. But there's no sound from the inside, that's what I'm saying. There's no interior key sound. Huh, key sound. <laughs> no pun intended.
Let's see. Um, I'm pained by the video and also laughing at Simon's predicament. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. I'm laughing too. We all laugh together. We laugh with him, not at him. Or maybe we do laugh at him, but you know. Throw it at the nearest TGR. Now the desk would be the nearest TGR, I guess. Drop test the key on top of the K. Drop test the K on top of the 910, you mean? Oh, I see. Uh, no. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. I see. Well, th these are both my boards, but that's why I wouldn't do it. <laughs> Who would be Who would do that, I wonder. I shook my cave for all it's worth and no rattle. Yeah, that's what I'm saying though. I don't I don't I don't hear this rattle thingy that people say. Got some molding progress done, second attempt on top mold went perfect, second attempt on bottom didn't go so hot. So redoing that. Good stuff. Sean, I mean um Sean, keep in mind that if you get the molding right, uh, like if you work on how to get your mold system working now, you're gonna save yourself so much trouble in the future. Like that's a that's a guarantee. Uh, molds are definitely like it's like one of those fundamental things that like if you get it right, like early on, you won't have to worry so much later, and like it's gonna like when you redo molds or when you have to clean molds, it's gonna make your life so much easier to do it right the first time and like later when you when the mold starts showing wear and tear that's when it's going to show a lot more like it's going to show on your keycaps so yeah okay <laughs> doubles as a shake weight i'm not telling you my workout secrets But maybe that's because I'm a shower, not a teller. These IEMs so comfy. I, I have them. I have them in versus my headphones. What? 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 Uh, what IEMs? Almost done actually, this is the last row. There we go. Let's just make sure that everything's nice and flush. Okay. 
Oh, this key is not fully in, I think. Okay, cool. Looks all good. Hmm. All right. Now we, it's a reverse order thing. So we did the switches. So we can, I guess we can test the switches first. We can test that everything works and then we can uh, loot the stabs. So the stabs come later. Browns, hell yeah. The browns are nice, actually. These browns that came on the Camo Filco actually are pretty good. They're surprisingly nice. Um, I mean, these, these are the same ones that I put on the uh, Kara build, if you guys remember that. And they, they, they're they pretty good. All right, let's see, switch hitter. Don't mind sending you some stuff or either. Nothing too special yet, as I haven't gotten to sculpts yet, but if you want some unique colorway on a cab, I don't mind sending you one. Um, I can give you some feedback if you want, Sean. I mean, I've seen a lot of blanks over the years, so I can give give you some feedback. I think some of the best blanks that I've seen in the game in general are um, Tokipi's blanks. Tokipi does really good blanks. Cherry profile blanks, especially. So if you're working on res reset uh, cherry profile blanks, uh, Tokipi really does really good, really good uh, quality stuff. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, sorry about that. Am I back yet? I accidentally, I accidentally went to the login screen, which is weird. <laughs> I pressed too many keys at once. Philco comes with A plus stock switches. I don't know, but these are, these actually really came with nice switches though. Like, like no kidding. Wait, uh, did I forget to solder that one? I think I forgot to solder the wind key here. Or maybe, is it disabled for some reason? Did I disable it? It's not actuating, but well, let me see. No wind key for the gamers. I mean, I have a wind key on the other side, so it actually doesn't even matter because I barely use the wind key anyway. <laughs> so, and I'm probably gonna switch cap stock for control on. Uh, I I I just use an auto hot key for that, so I'm just I'm just gonna do that anyway. So I don't think it matters. Oh, maybe actually it's my auto hot key that's currently doing that. So I could check that. Yeah, I don't know why this uh, wind key is not working for some reason. Hmm, weird. Even if I use the tweezers? Yeah, no, it's not actuating for some reason. Let me see, this one goes to here. Wait, where does this go? Yeah, okay, so these two should actuate. No, no wind key on this for some reason. I can troubleshoot it later, but I don't know what it is yet. Is there a dip switch? Uh, that's what I'm wondering if there's anything like that. But no, there's no dip switches on 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 Philco's. So the, there's no dip switch. Mm, I'm I'm. Let me check my script. It's possible that my script is doing something in the background. No, 
I don't have anything enabled for win key. Uh, let me see. Oh, that's my win key, but th that works. Maybe check the manual? Yeah, I could do that. But I'm pretty sure it worked the first time, so that's why I'm kind of confused. <clears throat> also, the right win key worked, but the left one didn't, so... Well, great. The manual's in Japanese. Is it in English anywhere? Okay, it's here. Um... Korean part doesn't really say anything about the win key. What exactly model is this? There's cube key controls for a couple of Kilko models. Uh, this is just a Majestic, uh, Majestic TKL, Majestic 2 TKL. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I could probably use one of those. Pegasus hoof and like whatnot, but I mean I don't really care for it really like I honestly don't use win key that much to care I can just use the right win key and that's not a problem. I Have a feeling it could be a switch too though, so I mean I could these out of the switch right now But yeah What, what is this what is this link? Oh, 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 yeah, that's right. Uh, isn't that isn't this the guy who sells uh, the Pegasus hoof and um, yeah, 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 yeah. This guy, this guy is the guy who made those controllers first. <laughs> that link is kind of sus, though, for sure. <laughs> that link does look so sus, like on at first glance. I just know because I see I I've seen the link before. So yeah, but I mean, it's funny. Sometimes it happens. Wait, our frame is dropping. Oh shoot. Yeah, sometimes my ISP is out to get me. That's for sure. Well, I do think it is possible that my uh, thing is my my maybe a pad broke or something when I was uh, desoldering. It's possible. It's entirely possible, but I don't know yet. So we'll have to confirm that right now. All right. So. Oh, the pads. No, some for some reason it's not it's something else. It's not even. It it has to be something else then, because the pads are not working. Is the diode dead or something? Did the diode get burnt? Hmm. Weird. I can't even see the diodes on this though because they're on the other side. They're on the top side. Well, you know, it doesn't really matter, but it is possible the diode could be dead or something. But I, I honestly can't tell from here. It's hard to say. It's hard to. It's hard to tell from here. Was it working before? That I remember. Yeah. That I recall. Yeah. I mean, this was a, this is a brand new keyboard, so it should have been working. Yeah. I'm gonna throw a K at Spectrum. They would just catch it and run with it, you know? Just be like, thanks. Yeah, so the Alt key works, but the... The diode? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking, the diode. Wait, so if the, if the diode's dead though, uh, I should be able to actuate it using the pads. The question is which diode is for which? Okay, so this is for that one. Uh, which one corresponds to this? No. Uh, 
Or am I supposed to actuate this? Wait, no, that's no, sorry. Press the wrong key. Here? No. Uh, hold on. So if I. Okay, yeah, so that actuates that, the Alt key here. Because here on the where the where the where the things are working. But here on the other hand. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. For some reason the uh wind key. It's not working. I'm not sure why. Do you use a Magni Maldi combo for sheet? Uh, I have a Lure 2 and a... I have a Lure 2 and a Bifrost, so mine's not sheet Magni Maldi. So a bit more expensive. Maybe a bit of understatement, but yeah. To jump wire to the next switch? Yeah, I could do that too. I'm gonna desolder this part here though. So, I am genuinely curious about how this works, this circuit works. So, let's just double check. So, if I do this here, does this actuate the key? Yes, it does. And if I do this here, does it actuate this key? It doesn't. But on the other hand, this does. Oops. Ugh, crap. Huh. Does that mean? Hmm. Yeah, I do think it's a dead diode somewhere. I think maybe this diode is dead here. So I could try and replace this diode here. I think that is a possibility. Uh, are we back yet? Hello? I don't, I have no idea what happened. <laughs> I have no idea what my streamlabs crashed. Sorry guys, my streamlabs crashed for no reason. Uh so that that was that was the reason why it went away. I have no that was actually not even the internet. That was actually uh, that was actually uh, OBS. Which is bizarre. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Spectrum sets fuck your diode. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, where was I? Okay, so I was gonna test this thing. Yeah, I think the diode's possibly dead here. It's possibly the diode here. Because this one's not actuating either. And here I should have. Let's see, where does this line go? Yeah, this, will, this probably goes all the way to the controller side of things. So that means this diode. Okay, so wait, so that means then if I short these two. Wait. Um, hmm. Yeah, you know what? I could replace this right now I feel I want it but I need to get a diode somewhere I don't know where I, where I put my parts right now uh you know what I'm gonna skip this part I'm too lazy but I know there's a I know there it's probably a diode but I just I'm just too lazy right now uh, we'll just leave this switch for now I, I can fix it later 
I'm just gonna solder one. I'm just gonna solder these anyway. I can always desolder it later. All right, we can keep moving on. Now the build's closer to a real build time. <laughs> All right, so keep on moving. Yeah, cause I don't really need this wind key, so I don't really care. I just don't use it not that much, so it's fine. Okay, um, so stabs, right? So everything else works, so just stabs now. There's not too much to do for staffs for CoStar because it's just a wire. So all I have to lube is just take one of these wires out. It's pretty tightly in there. JD looks like Chester Cheetah's brother right now. <laughs> JD too cool for school. So let's decide what keycaps we're going to put on this because that way I can just use the same keycap I'm going to use for the board. That way I don't have to remove it twice if it's good. So I'm going to put some put a list of caps on. You guys can choose. Uh, I mean actually let me uh, let me filter let me let me uh, trim that list down first. But basically the list is pretty going to be kind of obvious. where it is like okay so let's see we're gonna have possibilities I would say wob ski data um, Alright, I got a list that's shortened. Oh, yo, Mr. Jinte, thank you so much for the raid. Hola, Hyang. Hola, Hyang. Hello. Hello, friends. Alright, so this is a list of uh, keycaps that you can choose from. So. Hello, Jinty and everyone else. Welcome, welcome to the stream. <laughs> Hello. Hey, 
Hander by easy clap. Hander by is good, but yeah, I mean, up to you guys. I don't care. For now. I mean, I think Olive, Camping, I think Olive, Camping, Beige, Wob, and Hander by are probably the best choices. Oh, I, I mean, Sandstorm and Chocolatier could also be pretty good, actually. Sandstorm would actually be pretty fitting, because, you know, Camo. CRP though? Hmm, true. I do have the new CRP stuff too. I mean, beige is also kind of sand. Like, you know, like, kind of like that tone. Like tan colors, right? So. Lots of good combos for sure. Sandstorm is the only way. All right, all right. I'm gonna actually I'm, for this one. I'm actually gonna do a poll because because it does look like there are a few good choices. So let me do a poll for now while I'm doing the stabs. Camel gamer key set. Um, let's see. Uh, it's gonna be. Uh, I said it was gonna be in a wob. Yeah, wob is good. All right, I think these are all pretty solid choices. So I'm gonna go with a three-minute poll. And all right. Wait. Did the poll go up? What? What? It didn't go up. The poll is camo too, I guess. It doesn't show up. Um, alright. Okay. Start poll. A poll is already active? What? Poll is not active. What kind of bullshit is this? What the fuck? <laughs> What? Excuse me? Ah, oh, Jesus. I F5 and saw it? Okay, okay. I'm going to I'm going to delete the poll. I'm going to delete the poll and start again. Okay? I'm going to try it again. You get stuck in the same poll loop as key call. They haven't been able to pull run polls for months. Oh shit. Okay, straw poll it is then. Straw poll it is. Fuck 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 this. Straw poll. That's so stupid. Camo gamer key set. I'll add two more choices just because why not? Um, yeah, I'll allow multiple poll answers so that you guys can choose whichever you want. Um, okay, great. All right, here's the here's the straw poll. There you go. Vote now. Check that things are working here. All right, cool. <clears throat> oh, where was I? Uh, oh, wire. Here it is. So my camera settings are whack again now. Wait, what? Oh, Streamlabs is uh, not doing well today. That's I think that's a problem right now.
All right, I'm gonna be lubing this until the pull. Uh, I'll give it um, until 11:20 my time. So it's currently it's currently 11:18. Uh, so in two minutes, I'll check the pull. Sandstorm is so fitting to the theme. What are you guys thinking? Sandstorm is very, very fitting to the theme, actually, though. Like, I totally, I totally agree with uh, Ten Peaches in the sense that Sandstorm is a very fitting key set, nonetheless. Beige is forever? Beige is forever though. <laughs> okay, it's 1120 now. What are you doing? I'm currently lubing some stabs. Oh, I can take off the sets list now. I'm lubing my, um, I'm lubing these co-star stabilizers on my, on this keyboard. So I'm taking each of the wires and lubing each of the portions that make contact individually. Sandstorm has one? Oh, it did? Really? Oh, wow. Sandstorm did win. Wow. That's, uh, that's pretty cool. That's surprising. I'm actually surprised Sandstorm did win. Let's see. So, uh, let me show you the poll results. Um... Dang. Wait, it's not showing up. Hold on. Yeah, wow. Sandstorm. There it is. Sandstorm. Alright, cool. We can try Sandstorm. Alright, Sandstorm it is. Here's my brand new Sandstorm set. GMK Sandstorm round two? I think it's too soon for round two, but yeah. It'll happen maybe. I don't know. It wasn't too popular, but I'm sure I'm sure I'm sure it's gonna be more popular as people ask for it more and see it more and more in like meetups and like other places and photos. Alright, so I guess we all need these beige caps for now. Here's Sandstorm. 
Sandstorm color is very niche. Oh, that I agree with. Yes. I agree it's very niche. I mean, it was... At the time, I actually didn't buy it because I was, uh... I was too poor at the time. I just didn't have the cash to spare for Sandstorm. But yeah, it is a very niche color nonetheless. Okay. Not sure if possible, but EPVT Sandstorm would be sweet. You would have to reverse dice sublimate for that, which is not a trivial task. It's possible, but it's not trivial. Okay. Well, it sounds kind of rattly for some reason. Could be worse, but I'm not sure. Hello, it was luck. Hello, hello. I actually have to see the other keycaps to see if this this lubing is working. It's been a while since I did any co-star stuff, so I'm not entirely sure. If this lube is like thick enough or it's working. So the MX browns are kind of fooling me too. Are these Vint Browns? No, they're not. They're just regular MX Browns from... They're the same MX Browns that the keyboard came with. I just desoldered them, lubed them, and uh, filmed them. So they are a little bit like... Um, they were a little bit on the, on the scratcher end for, for stock, but they're actually not too bad. They're the same ones that you... That were on the Kara builds that I did um, some time ago. Which was I mean, that was a while back, right? I guess I guess it's like a month ago now. I used a uh, Filka with MX Browns for years. It wasn't that bad. Yeah, I don't think these switches are actually bad at all. Actually, they they uh they do feel pretty good.
Okay, they don't seem to be like rattling, so I think that's good news. I think it's just the sound of the MX Brown switch. Hating on MX Browns just because the personality just became a personality for much of the community. MX Browns are nice. I mean, it's because of the whole like the whole gaming community that was like also like oh like oh like you know like they they don't they're like in between they don't really feel like any, any of the two. And I mean, but still, a lot of people still use MX Browns nonetheless. Like a lot of people start with their first keywords with MX Browns and use them MX like use MX Browns pretty. Pretty much, and like, um, people actually like them, <laughs> but people don't care to admit it or don't care to say anything about it if they like it. So, but yeah, in the community, is, is particularly become this like idea of like, oh, they're like sand, blah 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 blah. But you know, I would love to see a custom PCB and controller for this board, uh, for like a fil for like an OEM Philco. I think that would be kind of cool. Custom, custom, custom internals, PCB and plate, basically. I mean, mainly, mainly the PCB, just so that it's programmable. I think that would be kind of neat. Like I would build this with like a like maybe like an FR4 plate, full FR4 plate, and uh, and a custom PCB. That would be kind of neat. And um, actually, not too expensive if you can, because you know, FR4 plates are not that expensive to make. The main part is who designs it. What's that clicking sound on this enter key? Maybe it's the plastic hitting somewhere. Oh, I see. Inserts are not really in, that's why. Okay, hold up. These stuff are tougher than I thought. Interesting. These these coaster inserts are really loose. I may have to use some tape actually. On this one here. Yeah, these coaster inserts are kind of loose on these cherry cherry caps. That's what the source of the noise was then. Okay, I'll probably use some tape. Um, to mod this. Give me one sec. Um, I redeem pick an artisan. I want to see what would work on this board. Yeah, I'll I'll figure something out.
Okay, this build is actually gonna be a little... It's gonna actually take some time, by the way. Because I'm just realizing that these stabs are tougher than I thought. Well, mostly just need some more careful attention. So for those who don't know, when something is loose on your on your stabilizer, like for example, or like on your keycaps, like you know how like uh like Rama metal keycaps or other similar keycaps can sometimes be loose on your caps. Well, and if that, when that happens, there's you can just do something as simple as this tape mod, where you just put some tape on your on your keycap stems, like on top of it, like laid on top. Either that, or either you lay it on top, or or you put it on. Like, you know, basically you're trying to add a little bit of, ri like, friction, basically, to the space there. So all I do is just add these pieces of tape here, as such, and then I put the, the keycap in. Now, now the inserts actually went in. Yeah, that's much, much better. Cool. All right, great. So that's that's working. Um, so so all I need to do is just put some tape, which is pretty simple. Hokum's razor. Thank you so much for the sub. Thank you so much for the prime sub.
Got my first raffle win a couple days ago. Uh, I think you had mentioned it, but I forget what it was. Was it a Latrialum, I think? That was a Serica one. I think that's the one you, you were talking about. Does the tiger have VR goggles on? No, it, uh, there there's some uh, sunglasses. <laughs> there's some, some sunglasses I have around. Just for fun. He is gamer. Yes. Those are cool glasses. They're okay. I forgot about it too, kinda. Just check PayPal to see how much I spent. A little co-star action? Yeah, good good old co-star. I uh, realize the uh, Philco inserts for co-star are kinda loose on GMK, on Cherry. So I'm using some tape to add some... Add a bit of resistance in there. Because otherwise the, the... The inserts just come off. Just come right off. My two spacebars have two stems in the middle. Uh, one is offset. Uh, because in some um, in some older boards, uh, six point two five U was only offset. And um, yeah, and in some and in some boards, like basically there's offset six point two five U. Essentially, good night, one drunk man. Take care. Have a good night. Yeah, but the main reason for offset is basically because there are keyboards that use offset 6.25. Um, that's the other one. That's, that's pretty much it. It doesn't really hurt to have the offset uh, stem either, so it can stay there and it's fine. It's not going to affect your functionality at all, so... Man, Coastar staffs can be so nice sometimes because these guys are really good job in stabilizing when they work properly. Of course, of course, like these are lubed, so that's, there's that difference. But yeah, when they work, they they work really well.
These are pre-tool MX Browns? No, not really. These are... Well, I don't know. Because uh, I ordered the... I ordered this Philco like this year though, so... They're, they must be new, but the the condition of them was not bad, so, you know. I don't know. The answer is, I don't know what when these switches were made or whatever. Um, but, yeah. I still just decided to desaw them and use them anyway because they're okay, so. Desaw them, loop them, film them. And all that. Only downside to coaster is not losing them when replacing keycaps. Yeah, the inserts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You definitely don't want to lose the inserts. That's for sure. I mean, again, this builds for fun, you know, guys. Like, it's not. It's not for me to like. Oh, this is end game. I mean, like, it's 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 a fun project for me to rebuild these. And I thought that using these switches that I already had was would be good. It would be neat. I also like MX Browns in general, so there's no issues with me <laughs> for that. All right. Stabs are done. Is fun allowed in the hobby again? I don't know. In my stream, I allow I allow fun. I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but I like having fun. Do you guys like having fun? All right. Cool. Uh, let's put this together now. So, first have our cable here. Okay. How old is this board? Uh, the first time it came out was like, I don't even know, 10 years ago? I don't even know. I actually don't know when it first came out. I forget what the release date on it is. But I mean, this particular board was produced fairly recently probably because I bought it recently. I don't think it's been old stock for that long. I think the first release of the board was kind of old. But I don't know how old the actual... Um, the the the, the camofilco model like in general is all right so what i don't remember is where did this screw go again was this from the bottom oh yeah okay that's from the bottom and then what are these two guys? Are these something else? I think these might be, might be something else entirely. Okay, cool. Let's 
Let's just make sure this works. Are the browns nice? Uh, these are these are all right, I think. Let's put keycaps on. Let's see, someone, I uh, three of my TKLs have browns in them. Yeah, 2012 endgame. <laughs> yeah, back in the day, eh? When browns get in stock, hyperglides, I guess, are going to be in builds for sure. Pretty excited about hyperglides. Depending on how they perform, I might swap the stem for some worn in vintage black stems. Cool, very neat. I don't mind using a uh, three pin switches for whenever I'm using a full plate though. Uh, that's that's definitely something I don't care about as much. Do you have the Sandstorm Rama? I don't. I don't have the Sandstorm Rama. That's one thing I don't have. Okay. 
are these browns the hyperglide variant no they're not these are stock directly from the same keyboard i bought them in this, these browns were in this keyboard i desoldered them and then i looped them i, t I uh, piece them apart i looped them and uh filmed them and that's what I've, i i i i'm gonna use today Oh man, this looks good. Ooh, I'm so excited actually. All right, let's see. Um, this looks great actually. All right. So after like two hours, or I'm not even sure how long it's been, but after a little bit, we're finally here. Finally here. Um, Um, what artisan should I put on? Should I put on something like an accent? Because I have something like this. This kind of looks cool. Oh, it gets stuck! <laughs> Shit. <laughs> it's too wide. <laughs> okay, get out of there, Mr. Ogre. Let's, let's get out of there. It's too, you're, you're too you're too fat for this for this bezel. Um Alright, let me try something else. <laughs> uh... <laughs> oh, 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 look at this. Wait, does this fit though? Um, I hope it's not too wide. I have this Corby that would be a good fit if it... <gasps> it fits! Look at that, look at that, look at that sweet Corby combo. Look at that, look at that match. This is accidental, but I just saw it and I was like, wait a second. That's like sand color. Uwu with it military theme. <laughs> I dig it. <laughs> Yes, this is very uwu and military. Alright. Oh, no, very nice. Alright, let me drink some water. Hmm. Ooh, Terry. <laughs> I kind of want to buy a cheap QFR with browns and modded. I've done that many times before. I've done QFR mods, Leopold mods. It's great. I, I honestly, I honestly really like modding OEM stuff because it, it can be fun. Um, I don't do it for other people just because it's tedious and I, I, I just have this strong feeling that people not necessarily, like, won't necessarily like what I do. So I, I don't really offer it, but... I, I for for myself I've done it several times. I've done C I have done cooler master stuff. I've done Leopold and Philco. You have to refund Sean Redeem? Oh sorry Sean. I should have refunded you. I, I accidentally accepted it. Uh I owe you one. I guess. I, I owe you one. Next time. I can't give you points though for some reason, so I'll I will i I'll, I'll owe you on that one. How much do you get this keyboard for? I got it for retail, so whatever it retails for on their website. Uh, which is gonna be, let's see. Um, $150, basically. I had some coupon, I had a coupon from uh, mechanicalkeyboards.com before. 
Um, but, uh, so I think it's a bit... Maybe it's a little cheaper there, I actually forget. No, yeah, 150 Free shipping. Free shipping, $150. Yeah. Pretty good, though. It looks great, in my opinion, so... Alright, guys. Let's do this. If you're buying from MechanicalKeywords.com, please consider using my affiliate code. I do have a creator code. Um, it's on my. It's on the panels below. Um, if you, uh, I believe it's. Uh, let me see where is it. Oh, where's my? Excuse me. It's not on the sponsors thing because technically they're just it's just an affiliate code that I have from them. Um they're like yeah. Several creators have it. I think like Tiny has it too, other people have it too. But yeah. Do a typing test, shall we? Are y'all ready? So this is a Camel Philco TKL. Uh, it's a camouflage themed with MX Brown switches. Currently with GMK Sandstorm and a Corby Artisan by Tiny makes things. And we'll be typing on it.
faster. <laughs> yeah, 120. Kind of slow today, but yeah. We can try it again. So I think my chair is kind of sitting low. Okay. But yeah, let's try again. What's going on? I'm making so many mistakes. <laughs> Damn it! Not in, not in the, not in the mood for good typing today. I think I don't know why. I just not have not been typing too well the past couple of days. It's uh, it's okay. But yeah, been been off today. But yeah. Anyway, uh, let's listen to the mods for a sec. It's rubbing a little, by the way. You can tell it rubs a little here. <laughs> So that's what it sounds like, my friends. Uh, bring a custom out and compare it. I mean, it's definitely very different from a custom. It types because it's a plastic case in the first place, right? It's super light, first of all, which is really nice. I think that's the nicer part of this is like it's really light. The profile is really nice on this actually. Let me show you. So like this is what it looks like from the side. Look at that nice. It has a very slight curve to the profile that makes it look like the keycaps are sunk in a really nice way. I really like it. But yeah. 
Sandstorm looks really good on this case. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's $150 and then I modified it, which, you know, it's technically just time. So time and money with, I mean, maybe you're paying for the lube and films, I guess that's about it. It actually feels really nice. I love how this I love how this R1 sounds right now. R4 is good, yeah. Perfect keyword for your safe room. <laughs> yeah, cause cause no one can see it. Is is video lagging for other people? I don't think video is lagging. Is it? I don't see any frames dropping. What material is it? Uh, yeah, ABS for the case and steel plate for the for the uh, switch plate. Oh wait, I forget that I don't. Let me put the cast lock setting in. So is that Philco top mount? No, it's more like, it's kind of more like tray mount because it screws to the bottom pegs, bottom case pegs, and then you just uh, put the top piece on top. Yeah, it's just, it's just really like bottom tray mount. Have you tried the KA1953 from top out? Yeah, 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 I have. It's just a, it's just a GMK beige set. So it's just a beige GMK set, that's what it is. <laughs> now you need to <laughs> need the matching killer suit. <laughs> they're very good. Get it while you can. Yeah, yeah, they're pretty good. What do you do for a living? Uh, I'm I'm a grad student, so I don't do too much for a living. <laughs> I do research for the most part. How to buy from Taobao? Uh, use uh, use Super Buy. Super Buy is uh, your your friend. Oh, yeah, I have a left control now. But yeah, uh, I think um, Elgo wanted to see see the uh, real fours. I can go get that really quick. Thought you don't need procs to order on Taobao anymore? You know you don't? Oh. This is the my real force. 84. Is this a client build? No, this is a personal build. This is a personal build.
Yep, this is my RF. So this RF is a combination of a real force 86 inside of a 89 case. Nothing wrong with 87, yeah. There's nothing wrong with 87. Uh, I think the bottom case, I think I have it with a 60, 86U one because the 89 that it had, uh, the bottom case was pretty scuffed. So I just used the 86 bottom case. Anyway, that's another pre-built technically that you can mo uh, you can modify. So that's like another alternative, so to speak. Shame the mods are meme price. Well, I didn't even buy just the mods. I bought every single color. I bought the orange set. I bought the <laughs> yellow set and the red set. I bought the full OEM sets for that. I didn't even just buy modifiers only. So it wasn't cheap. <laughs> um, let me see. All right. Cost 600 to 800 now? What the frick? That's crazy. Anyway, last look at this guy. Really fast. Show you what it looks like. Pretty cool. I actually really like this. It's been a while since I've had a 6.25U bottom row with like win key and everything. So this is standard TKL, standard ANC, pretty nice. Looks good on this case too. With sandstorm. Looks really nice. And here's the bottom. You can see Filco TKL made in Taiwan. Uh, there's serial codes and whatever sticker. Used to, there used to be a quality control sticker, obviously here. I just removed it carefully. Um, and yeah, integrated cable, which uh, you can modify, of course. Uh, with you can you can make you can make it detachable for it, but I, I I wouldn't even bother. I think it is okay for now. It's very light. Does it feel solid? Yeah. I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this definitely feels solid. Like it. Yeah, it feels okay. It's nice. Uh, it's not like too light either. It's not too heavy, not too light. Actually, let's. We can weigh it if you want. It weighs. It weighs two pounds and on one uh, one point four ounces, which in uh, it's about a kilogram. So two pounds, about a kilogram, is pretty good. Uh, that's looking pretty sweet. Is it hydro dipped? Yeah. So Philco's camo, uh, this camo pattern is a hydro dip pattern for sure. They they do it. They do the hydro uh, dipping in in house basically. Like they they have their own hydro dipping ways to hydro dip things, uh, and they do a pretty good job of it. So. It's one of Philco's color schemes, but yes, it is hydro dipping uh, in all technicality. But yeah. Oh, interesting. Is soft touch coated? No, I'm pretty sure it's hydro dip. I think someone confirmed that it's hydro dip before some at some point someone someone was like there are people a lot of people who asked this question before and people were like yeah it's, i think it's it, i think it's correct it's hydro dip because you can see the uh, the way it leaks on the interior that it's hydro dip pretty sure they just mask it out but yeah you can tell that like there's a bit of like bleed on the inside that kind of shows that it's very typical of when you hydro dip things. I mean, it's just like water leaking in, basically. 
well priced for what it is. Yeah, one hundred fifty dollars. I mean, Philco has been a good deal like for a while. Like always, it's always been a pretty good deal for for the price. I mean, they they're really sturdy. I mean, there's people who use these boards for years and years to come. You know, and um, one thing I just noticed is that these uh, rubber feet. I mean, these things have rubber pads on them too. So even if you, if you like put them up, they have rubber to prevent from skidding and stuff from from uh, sliding on your on your table. I mean, I, I don't think I need uh, the incline, right? Like, the incline, I think it's kind of extra. I don't think I need it, personally. But, I mean, could be used, too. But, yeah. I prefer it without the foldable feet. Personal build? Yeah, this is personal. I, I bought this keyboard for myself and I decided to mod it because I thought it would be fun. I thought it would be a fun project. I had a coupon for mechanicalkeyboards.com at one point and I was like, oh, I should use that. And Camo Filco is one of the stuff that, uh, one of the things that they sell there and I've always kind of wanted a Filco again. I've had one a long time ago, but uh, I didn't, I haven't had one for a long time. And the Camo one is the one I always wanted because I like the pattern a lot. It just looks really nice. Um, so I got one of these. Yeah. Got a bounce man, take care. Thank you so much for stopping by, Sean. And thank you uh, for a nine walker. Thank you so much for stopping by as well. I hope you take take care of yourself. Stay safe. But yeah. All right, so let's um, let's see who we can raid tonight. I'm not sure if, if anybody's online at this point. It's a Monday night, so uh, let's check. Let's see, Minterly Kimchi Jody Boy is online, streaming. Mm, okay, well, we could raid uh, either Kimchi, Mint. Um, yeah. You guys want to see? Let me see what kimchi is doing. Where's kimchi? I don't see him. Kimchi Jody Boy is what? Wickle Tickle. I have no idea what that is. Oh, when Keyless TKL, that's what he means. Okay. And I'm not sure what Mint is doing right now. Mint early. Yeah, we can go raid uh, Mr. Mr. Kimchi. Haven't, haven't seen Mr. Kimchi in a while. But thank you so much for stopping by, guys. Um, next stream, uh, I probably will be building... Might be building the Squid 60 if I can modify the switches in time. Uh, but yeah, um, I think that will be probably later this week. Um, I have some other personal stuff coming up, uh, like personal builds that I can do. Uh, I do need to loop some switches for that, though, so uh, I guess stay tuned. I'll try to be as quick as possible. <laughs> It's just been kind of sitting around for a bit, but yeah, I have some uh, builds coming up, so I'll probably be streaming sometime later this week when I'm free, and I'll probably catch you guys then. But yeah, let's let's raid Mr. Kimchi, Jody Boy, and we can spam. Well, let's do a raid message. We can do. I love kimchi and I love kimchi keyboards and KBBQ 3k All right, there we go. We can we can we can spam that. But yeah, thank you everybody for for coming by um, and watching, I'll probably catch you guys. No sub emotes, no worries. You can you can just spam the the message. It's okay. <laughs> you can do. You can also do this. You can just do Pock Champ instead. You can do that. But anyhow, thank you everybody. 
I hope you take care of yourself. Stay safe. Have a good rest of your week. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. See you all.